What's going on my sexy YouTubers? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So um, if you're here today, uh, first of all, I want to say that A, is going to be okay. And number two is today I'm going to tell you how I do deal with anxiety. Okay. First of all, there's no, there's no, there's no cash 22. There's no one fix at all. There's no perfect solution. Uh, for this, okay? But today in this video, I'm gonna tell you how I manage my anxiety, how I manage my stress, how I manage um, all these things that are happening in my head and how I'm able to live uh, a great, wonderful life, to be honest with you. Uh, because I cannot be more happy than what I am with my life. Because it turns out to be very amazing. So after, you know, serving in the military, retired from the United States Army, and, uh, and now uh, living uh, you know, as a civilian in the civilian sector, doing amazing, by the way, um, I do have, I do get a lot, a lot, a lot of anxiety. Uh, and some of you guys might be thinking, how somebody like you can have anxiety? And I'm gonna tell you guys, I'm gonna tell you, it's, uh, it's real. It's real. Anxiety doesn't come from being poor or from being rich, from having money or the lack of. Anxiety comes because at some point in your life, yeah, you live through a traumatic life experience. And that traumatic life experience or traumatic life event mark you for the rest of your life. And there's nothing, no one, I mean, there's... There's, there's, there's nothing you can do to fix that, okay? Yes, you can go to therapy. Yes, you can get medication, which I don't recommend. It works, but I don't recommend it. Uh, there's so many things you can do to, to deal with anxiety, but I got to tell you the truth, guys. Is, is, uh, is, 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 there's nothing better than to manage it with acceptance that's that's a big word guys acceptance than anything else out there so right now as I'm filming this video uh, I'm having a panic attack on uh, 100% I am not lying to you and you might see if you might see those those uh, those cues of my breathing you know me trying to catch my breath exhale, exhale inhale exhale um, but yeah, I am going through a panic attack. Um, in my case, most of my anxiety comes from, uh, listen, what this is gonna sound crazy, come from the that from my digestive yeah, digestive uh, system, my stomach. I have a very sensitive stomach. I do have GERD, GERD. It's like acid reflux, and every time this acid reflux start acting up, it triggers some things in my body, and then I end up with this anxiety. Okay, my heart goes like 130, 120. Um, and then uh, early stages back in the 2015, 16, you know, you're thinking, oh, I was thinking, oh, I'm going to die. This is a heart attack. And, you know, oh, I need to check my pulse. I need to do this. I need an EKG. I need an MRI. But with time, you learn that these things are just part of your life um, and are not going to do anything to harm you, Okay. Uh, yeah, you can you can pass out from this. That is that one hundred percent. You can pass out. You can pass the S H I. -E, you know what I mean. You can pass out. Uh, you can uh, you can have a panic attack where you find yourself um, uncontrollable and your body unresponsive and uh, and you just just freak out and then just freeze or froze like some people you know have experienced in the past or in their life. Um, I haven't, I haven't get to that point ever. Um, pray, uh, praise to the Lord. Um, but uh, like I, I'm telling you right now, right now my heart is going crazy. Uh, I'm having one of my, one of my, I, I'm having issues with my fingers. Uh, my vision is coming in and out, you know. Uh, but I have learned my focus, the focus of my, on my vision, is coming in and out. But I've been able to manage these things. How? By accepting, by accepting my anxiety, 
by understanding what I'm going through, by believing that this is temporary, by knowing, not believing, by knowing, first you got to believe it, then you got to know it, um, by knowing that this is temporary, this is not going to kill me, and that everything is going to be okay. And even though I'm thinking that my heart rate is going to make me pass out or whatever the case may be, as a human, because I mean, I'm not the only person who uh, who goes through this, I have some... I have some limits, not some targets, okay? And based on that, I can tell you that, you know, I'm okay driving, and then I'm okay talking to you on the camera. Uh, but I'm living with this. So how can you, how can you, how can you benefit from this video? How can you benefit from this talk? So I'm gonna tell you guys what I do, okay? Number one thing you gotta do, guys, is you need to, you need to meditate. You need to meditate, meditate, and meditate. Uh, and you need to learn the benefits of meditation and practice meditation and understand that meditation is a great, beautiful, amazing tool. It's being used for many, for, for, it's, it's being used for, for th thousands of years and uh, uh, it, it's just a great tool. Second thing, breathing. Because by breathing, by breathing, you will learn to control your heart rate. Heart rate is 50%. Your heart and your, your pulse is 50% of the equation. The other 50% is your brain. That's why breathing is going to control your heart. Okay? Meditating is going to control your brain or, or help you deal. Not control it because we don't want to put it in a box and then just freak out more uh, but uh, you're going to be able to manage it and accept it when I woke up guys I, I felt this way I took my medication um, and then uh, I ate my breakfast and I'm going to the gym and I'm going to work out right now I feel that if I work out I will pass out something bad is going to happen but guess what guys I have done this hundreds and hundreds Hundred, probably thousands of times because I have this for me over the four or five years um, and I gotta tell you guys I will be okay I will be okay I am not going to die and uh, all I can tell you is that I need to work out to maintain listen to these guys it's very very important to maintain a healthy lifestyle okay if my body is not healthy, my breathing is not be is not going to be as effective as it should be. My meditation, you know, is not going to be as effective as it should be. Okay, so again, breathing, meditating, fitness, exercising. Um, diet has plays a big role. Uh, when it comes to this, guys, diet plays a big role in this uh, in this um, in this uh, anxiety world. Uh, and the best thing I can tell you guys is that I mean I know not everybody can, but eat as clean as possible. If you're the one cooking, try your best. If you are the one who uh, his wife or husband cook for for you talk to them uh, help 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 them help you and uh, and continue for continue working continue fighting continue doing whatever you got to do to stay healthy so you can uh, so you can monitor yourself so you can monitor your your, your status okay Okay, guys, I know you guys want to know, so I uh, finished my workout. Uh, I went and got myself some food because I needed to get some food in my stomach. And that kind of um, alleviated my anxiety. I feel very, I feel perfectly fine right now. On my way to my house right now to upload the video and hopefully, uh, hopefully you get something out of this. Let me know in the comment section below, how do you feel? How do you handle anxiety? And if you have any type of uh, medications that you're going through, 
you don't have to, but if you like to share with the with the group, that would be awesome. Um, and what are your reach rules? You know, like your techniques that you use in order to uh, deal with your anxiety. Uh, anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. You guys are amazing. And again, don't forget to like the video, share the video, comment on the video, and subscribe to the channel. Take care, guys. Bye.